Hello everybody, this is Mr. Clifftron, back with actually a new Let's Play. I'm going to start a second one right about now. So, this is going to be one that I have actually wanted to do because, you know, it's awesome. And I don't know why I'm trying to hide it because, you know, it's going to be on the title anyway. But, yeah, this is going to be a new Let's Play. I'm starting it. I'm going to rush it. This is going to be a, hopefully a series of two games in, like, the next month or two, uh, if I can get that done, and maybe even a third a little bit after that. So, let's begin closing, and it is, of course, once it's red, come on, uh, play game, yes, that's it. Now it is Gears of War, yes, let's just jump right into it. Ah, uh, yes. Epic. And, yeah, the Microsoft thingy, it's like the weird sounds, like bubbly, kind of underwater sounds. And Gears of War 2006, Epic Games, Incorporated, all rights reserved. Yes, here we are. So. This is uh, obviously the main menu, and uh, we'll just go ahead and select campaign, and single player, and new campaign. And of course, see, what they did is you can only do casual and hardcore, you cannot play insane until you've played through hardcore. So, I'm going to go ahead and just do hardcore, you know, because it makes it easier on me. One, I don't have to worry about getting killed all the time, and two, you know, it just just helps me out a little bit, but, uh, well, here we go. Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. You could get into a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. We better go. What about the other prisoners? We can't just leave them here. They're gone. Hoffman pardoned everybody. Is that right? Welcome back to the army, soldier. Shit. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, good old Marcus Phoenix. So, for those of you who might not know, the whole... We've got two options. We can go back the way I came, Wait. through the guards' quarters. It takes time, but it's safe. Or we can go through the prison blocks and get right into the fight. Your choice. Okay, so just before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and give a little background. The whole E-Day thing that you might have seen, it said 14, 14 years after E-Day, that it is Emergence Day. That's the day that the Locust came up from the ground and started trying to shoot all the humans. And so this is Marcus Phoenix. Uh, there were some war crimes, I think. Uh, I haven't really gone too far into that, but I will figure that out if I need to. And then the guy that's standing in front of me, who broke me out of jail, blah, 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 did all that. His name is Dom. Yes, Dom, otherwise known as Dominic Santiago, but, you know, we like to just call him Dom. And so, now, uh, we're given the choice of going straight into combat or training, um, and I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just do training, you know, so everybody gets a hang of it, just in case you're playing Let's along at home and haven't quarters. played it yet. I gotta work out the kinks. Sounds good, man. I got your back. 6-4, this is Delta right. 2. We are on route. Over. Copy that. We are beginning our run. 6-4 in position. Fox 1, Fox 1. Okay, so... Yeah. Hey! 6-4, this is Delta 2. Hold your fire. We are inside the prison. Over. Roger that. Holding fire. Advise you relocate ASAP. Man, if now, I knew I was here to get you, I'd be in some deep shit. Come on, let's go. Alright, there's a lot of talking, but if you didn't see uh, 
yeah, you hold LB to do that. But if you didn't see, right over here where this whole red thing was, there were little cog tags. Those are the collectibles for this game. Uh, I'm going to try to be picking them up, but there are a few that I might not be able to get, like, right away. Um, but, you know, I will try to make sure I get them all on the way. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you know, it's pretty much all I have to say about that. Uh, okay, so... I don't know what I'm doing right now. I actually was stupid and completely missed it. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just being an idiot right now. But uh, so yeah, uh, this is gonna be my pet project. I'm gonna try to do gears one and two. Hey, uh, hit that button, open the door. And maybe when gears three comes out, I'll be able to do that and get that done too. So this is gonna be pretty much my first big thing. I guess. Locked. And it's too thick to cut. Shoot it. Up there. Oh, okay. One more. Wait. What? Oh wow. Wait. Okay, so yeah. Alright. And then you can the one thing I do love about the Gear series the this is the place to do it. Is the fact that they really do go into a lot of detail with their games, like their storyline and everything. It's just amazing. And then cover mobility. We don't know how to do that. We just press A. It gives you the hints and everything every time you do stuff, with, like at the bottom. But yeah, and then to vault over, you just press A. Same X to That's pick up that. Squad. They're clearing this sector. They're gonna need more choppers. Eh. But yeah, so, I mean, with the Gear series, they really do. They go into a lot of storyline stuff. They do a lot of cinematics. They do a lot of dialogue. I mean, it's like really a very, very well thought out kind of game, in my opinion. And here we go with our first enemy. Roadie run. That's it. Well, nice. dude. What the hell's been going on in this prison? You don't want to know. Hmm. Marcus, but yeah, grab so. The grenades. Obviously, I'm grabbing them already. You can only carry four grenades. That kind of sucks, but you know, it's fine. If they did their job. How about we uh, try some of this out? Yeah, there we. I completely missed that guy. Okay, so yeah, if you hold like you can get the whole guided thing. It'll show you where it's gonna land. Uh, if you don't, you can just toss it. If you're good, you can actually determine where you want it to go, and you can do it pretty easily. Uh, I'm gonna go run back and get more, just because there are a ton in here, more than you could ever need. But you know. And then, like, here is kind of blind throw, it just tosses it. Boom! Yes, you saw him explode into many pieces. So, that pretty much is what grenades will do. Um, then, of course, we have a pistol. We have our one of our primary weapons. You can have two primary weapons. Like, you can see there's a second spot over to the left. Uh, you can pick up two different primary weapons. Uh, usually, the two main ones that, you're, that you see... Uh, especially in late, like Gears 2, too, is the uh, Lancer and the Hammer Burst. And then one thing that you do usually see in these games, or in the first game, is the the Red Omen. It usually signals, like right there, you can see there's a cock, set of cock tags. The Red Omen usually does signal either collectibles or something that's very important. Uh, or something that you can use, so keep an eye out for them. Uh, so I'll run over there and I'll get that. And there's
there's a big ammo box here. There are different kind of ammo boxes and things. Uh, they each have different like numbers that go along with them. So like you can pick up a big box and it'll give you like a ton of ammo. And for all different weapons, some of the little boxes will give you a certain amount of ammo for one weapon. It, it really kind of just depends on what box you get. And wow, Dom got raped. Oh wait, of course, that would be part of the tutorial. So you just run over him and pick him up with X. It's a little easier in the second game when they walk like walk over to you, but then yeah, you can blind fire too, uh, just right trigger, stuff like that. Uh, just kind of shoot at him. Do stuff. But yeah, cover in this game is your friend. It's really especially great when you're trying to play it on insane, that's for sure. Alright, and then I know up here, Red Omen. Guess what? Is somewhere around here. There it is. I knew they were around here. And yeah, every time you get one of the uh, cog tags, you hear the sound effect, so. Just in case you got confused. But yeah, one of the big things uh, about this game that everybody likes is it's faster than 2. Like, you'll hear uh, everybody complaining about how the uh, second game is all slow and stuff and how, like, you can't move nearly as fast, which really, if you look at it, it is true. But, I mean, I, personally, I think 2 and this Gears 1 or 2 are pretty much great either way. I mean, they each have their own special kind of perks. So, the one other good thing about this game, though, that everybody likes is how the uh, the art style is a little bit more grim. And uh, it re I really do, I, I appreciate that particular aspect of it. But, uh, let's see, I think that, huh, I think I heard a little audio glitch there, but uh, I think that I'm actually going to end up, oh well, dang it, I went into a cutscene, so. That is what's called a corpser. They are very evil and bad. And there we go, there's our first achievement uh, for this game. Obviously, level based. And we get some water. It's very, very good water. Very tasty. And uh, here we meet one of our main characters for this game as well. To Delta Squad. Or two of them, actually. Where are we going? Embry Square. Colonel Hoffman's waiting for us. Hoffman. Oh, shit. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> hey! Are you THE Marcus Phoenix? The one who fought at Aspiel Fields? Yep. Wow. Cool! Not really. Yeah, so that's uh, an allusion to one of the wars that kind of happened was a prequel to this game, but you can read more, like, they have actual novels that kind of detail that thing that are much better if you want to learn the history. I have yet to actually see them. I wish that you, I could have read them before like this, but... doesn't deserve to wear the uniform. Looks to me like you need all the help you can get. Step aside. Lieutenant, I've got good news. We have a plan to end this war. Once and for all. Yeah, right. Sensors are picking up enemies, sir, close by. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to end this pretty quickly. Uh, I'm coming up on time, so, uh, 
I'm gonna see if I can pause it here. If not, sorry. And uh, I'll see you next time. This has been Mr. Clifftron signing off.